Why is sleep so important to being a healthy weight? That's the discussion I'd like to have today. I am Noha Polak. I'm a pediatrician. I've been practicing pediatrics since 1996 in Union City and Bayonne, New Jersey. Listen up, kids, especially if you're teenagers. If you don't get a good night's sleep, your body craves more junk, and it is super hard to get to a healthy weight if you're constantly fighting cravings. The studies have shown that if you don't get at least seven to eight hours of sleep a night, and teenagers, you guys need actually 10, but the minimum of seven to eight continuous hours of sleep a night, your body craves more sugars, more carbs, and more processed foods. And it's gonna be much harder for you to get to a healthier weight if you're constantly craving all of those unhealthy things. So what do we do? We prioritize sleep just as we prioritize diet and exercise. So if you're telling me, doc, I am eating healthy and I am doing my best to stay active as much as possible, and I am not getting anywhere with my weight loss journey or my health journey, I'm going to ask you about sleep because that is one big, big factor. So I would strongly recommend that you prioritize sleep more than many other things. Now, I know you guys are really busy with schoolwork and with sports and with friendships and social activities. And I'm happy about all of that. But there has to be a hard stop at some point in the night. A hard stop that says at exactly 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, whatever fits your lifestyle, I will turn off my computer and laptop and I will turn off my phone and iPad or tablet I will turn off all electronics by 10 or by 11, and I will either read a book to help me go to sleep, meditate, calm myself down, or just be in a dark room. Your mind needs to reset and get rest and sleep in order for you to wake up the next day healthy, rejuvenated, and ready to face the world. If you don't sleep enough, your body craves all kinds of junk food and your body feels less healthy the day after. And if your body feels less healthy the day after, you're probably going to take a nap in the middle of the day. And if you take a nap in the middle of the day, which I don't recommend, then you will not sleep well the following night either. So teenagers, prioritize nighttime sleep. If you're sleeping after school, the ideal is do not sleep at all. But if you have to sleep after school, make it a maximum of 30 minutes. No two-hour naps, guys, after school. That will mess up your nighttime sleep. So if you can, don't sleep after school. Don't sleep during the daytime. And definitely do not sleep at all after 4 p.m. Any sleep after 4 p.m. is going to mess up your nighttime sleep. And sleep is critical, critical for your health journey to get to a body that you like and that you enjoy looking in the mirror to see. So that's my message for you today. My name is Dr. Noha Polak. I am a pediatrician, and I love to help preteens and teens stay healthy, get to a healthier place in life, and like what they see in the mirror. So please give us a call at progressivepediatrics.com. Call us, email us, contact us, come work with me. I want to help you get to that healthy place where you deserve to be, where you're happy. Just imagine looking in the mirror and liking what you see, feeling self-confident. I would love to work with you. Have a wonderful day.